Hello everybody, welcome back again for another one of my videos. Uh, it's been quite a while since I've done a video, but I got a couple of them here I want to do in the next uh, few days. Uh, but what I want to show you right now is uh, a recent trip I took to the flea market. I came up with a few cards and I just wanted to share those with you. So, here we go. First thing I did was I rated a 10 cent bin. Uh, uh, turns out there was a few cards I wanted to get and ended up coming up with 10 cards then to um, complete the dollar. Uh, but you can see there was some Alan Ginter there. I got this one here. I left the price tag on. But then these ones also were 10 cents each. And some of these I just, were just uh, cards I wanted to add to my PC. Uh, it turns out this was the card I saw that I wanted. Uh, it is a second year card for Hall of Famer Harold Baines. However, it is his first Donruss card. Uh, the 1982 Donruss, uh, he was not in the 81 set. And this guy had a number of uh, Harold Baines cards, so I picked up a number of those. Also, I saw an early Joe Maurer card, Alan Ginter. Like that, I'd like to get that autographed at some point down the road. Uh, and I just needed another card to fill it in, so it just happened to be this was right near those, so I ended up with the Chad Tracy. Uh, as we were talking, uh, he asked me if I wanted to go through some of his other boxes. He had the box there. I was really kind of looking to move on, but he pulled out a box of older cards, and I kind of went down through, and I saw a few cards I'm looking to add into my set, uh, my PC. Uh, and uh, one of the cards that I saw was a Burt Blylevin Rookie. I've sort of been after this card for a while. Haven't been able to find one I thought was uh, in very good shape. Now this one has some flaws, obviously, when you take a look at it. Uh, but it is his rookie card. I did want to add this in uh, with my collection. Uh, back isn't too bad. Uh, and you notice it is uh, off-center pretty quite, quite a bit there on the sides. Uh, but it, uh, it'll do until I, I get a better, a better example to add to my set. Also, I've got, uh, I picked up a 74. I look for these uh, error cards. I think I paid a dollar for this. Uh, Dave Roberts, uh, Washington National League card. Um, I paid $8 for this Ted Williams 1958 All-Star card. Uh, it does have a pretty good crease down in here. Uh, you can see a pretty good crease. It also has a pinhole up here, so it's in not in... Not in very good shape at all, but it was only $8. Uh, anytime I think you can get a, a Ted Williams card during his playing days uh, and not pay more than $10, I think you're doing a pretty good job, even if it is only an all-star card. I did pick up, uh, for a buck, I picked up a Pirates uh, team card from 72. It does have some flaws, including a, uh, looks like a scratch there. It's pretty deep and some creases. And finally, there's a Hank Aaron here. The Hank Aaron looks pretty good, except there is a crease along the bottom, pretty good crease there. So these these weren't high grade cards by any means, but uh, but they did uh, did show some nice examples. This uh, Hank Aaron card really has a nice look to it, except for that crease at the bottom. Uh, I also moved on to another dealer. Uh, right at the end, we weren't planning on actually stopping uh, down this one row, but we decided to before we uh, come home. And these were some cards that I ended up with. Uh, these were all 25 cents. So I ended up four for a dollar there with those. So I got Madlock Rookie, uh, Maxi Bond. Um, I did need a couple extra cards here to fill out my the cards that I'd got. 63 Jim Cott. Notice there is a pretty good crease down there at the bottom. A couple creases on the left side of it. Also Jim Gentilly. Uh, post serial uh, again not the best of not the best of cards if you take a look there are some flaws with it also uh, for my PC I do PC the Pirates and uh, did get a Jason Bay here uh, that 58 uh, style uh, it's actually a 2006 all-star card uh, Tony Armas uh, rookie card 1977 uh, Pittsburgh Steeler Ed Bradley I've really tried not to collect uh, other sports like football and hockey and some of those things but occasionally I want to see a card that's in nice shape that uh, I don't really have in, a, in my set I do try to keep some Steelers around so um, I did pick this one up 
And then the last one here is a Juan Marichal. It's a 1966. Uh, it was 25 cents. Uh, it is beat up. I mean, it's 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 well beat. Uh, if you take a look, it's got yeah, and you name it, it's got wrong with it. But but for 25 cents, I really did not think that was too bad of a of a price. Probably don't know what I'll do with it. Um, but uh, I, I did end up picking it up just simply because of the price. I didn't want to leave it there. Now, as we were getting ready to go, uh, I picked up a few others, and he sort of made me a deal on this one right here. Uh, I, I like this card a lot. Uh, I've kind of been after it for a while, and it, if you notice, it's in pretty good shape. Uh, it does have a Clemente on it. On the back, it looks really good, but there is some sort of a blemish along this, what would be the bottom of it, the right side here, uh, where it does look like it was either in something and maybe it was it pulled out of the plastic. It took a little bit of a paper loss, but uh, not super bad. But again, not a bad looking card. Good, good appeal. And then here's some of the other cards I got. These were all 50 cents each. Uh, I just looked for some cards to add my uh, collection, my PC. I did get a Thurman Thomas, Kirk Gibson rookie, another Harold Baines second year card. This is the 82 Fleer. Uh, here's a second year uh, Albert Pujols. Uh, I think he's a sure shot for the Hall of Fame. Again, there's some flaws with this. You can see a little creasing up here, a little issue at the top there. Uh, corner down here looks like it's got a little ding, but this is again, it's still a second year card. Here's a 93 Bowman, Mike Piazza. I just just like this card. I think it's a great looking card. Um, great picture of him. Then I also picked up a few Pirates, uh, George Witt, um, Al Oliver, Hostess card. A rookie card for Jim Bibby. Uh, Jim Bibby was a uh, Picture for the Pirates in my childhood days, so it's always good to when I can find picture uh, cards of uh, those kind of guys or rookies back then. Got a '67 Joe Morgan for 50 cents. Again, it's it's got some flaws. It's got some creasing, uh, pretty heavy creasing. A '67 Tug McGraw. A 1975 Ron Lafleur, and uh, that's his rookie card. And finally, I got a 1970 card. Kurt Flood with the Philadelphia Phillies. I believe this is his final card. Uh, he is the reason that we have free agency in baseball today. Uh, one of the things is he held out. Uh, he decided that uh, it wasn't right that the owners should uh, control a player for their entire career. Uh, that they should be able to sell their services uh, as they say saw fit. And, and today what we have is a collective bargaining agreement. And that agreement allows for players to enter into free agency. Uh, but that's what I picked up at the uh, flea market. There is one additional item I picked up at a flea market. It was just one uh, big group of cards that I got. I'm going to show you those in a second. Um, and then actually in another video. I'm not going to hold this video. It's already over eight minutes long. But I got another video I'm going to show. And you'll see why I included it in the other video because uh, there's something else I'm going to do there with that. But thank you for uh, watching and having a chance to listen to me kind of ramble on a little bit about these. Uh, if you like the content, uh, please uh, hit the subscribe button. If you think this was a good video, please go ahead and uh, give me the thumbs up. But thank you for uh, watching and have a good day.